Oh, I didn't even plug in my controller. Alright, hey guys, hi. I just realized, I forgot I, I hit go live, and I completely forgot that I am live, so. Hi guys, I am back with more Hollow Cure Save the Fans, because I have nothing better to, to do than to play Hollow Cure Save the Fans. Alright, so, you guys didn't know, I just got back from uh, watching my friend's apartment. He is out of town uh, this week, uh, no, this weekend, uh, so I'm watching over his cat and his apartment while he's gone, so I, uh, just go over, stay there for a little bit, and then leave. That's basically what I do. So. Okay, anyway. Hope so you guys are having a wonderful Saturday evening. I'm just here. Hello, hi. Ooh, look at that. I got like a little bit of a, if you don't see it, like you can see that I have a bit of an invention. So I've been wearing a wrist brace because I hurt it um, at Anime Fest. So at Anime Fest, I was setting up, helping uh, move things. I'm in the mover department and I was lifting a road case and the contents inside decided to go from here to there. And so what happens is my hand holding this went 90. So I was like, <laughs> I was in pain. I had to wear a wrist guard and I had to take ibuprofen for the remainder of the con. Um, and what's crazy is Anime Fest occurred at the end of July at the beginning of August. It's September and this still has not fully recovered. Of course I keep agitating it. And then on top of that, I was kind of told I was kind of guilt tripped into doing yard work, which didn't help this. It did not help it at all. My dad was like, oh, how many months has that been healing? And I'm like, it's been two weeks. Like, I still physically can't do Like, at the two week mark, I still, no, it was the one week mark. It was the one week mark. And uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want my parents to have a bad impression of anime fest so I basically lied to them and I said oh I heard it at work <laughs> so if my parents are watching this I'm sorry I lied to you but I didn't want you to try and stop me to go from going to any more anime conventions because I love going to anime conventions anyway yeah that happened so I was like ow <laughs> so at the one week mark I remember my dad like got me outside he was like oh you, you can cut some of the tree branches off Mind you, we had to use a long saw, like a polearm saw, that type of deer deal. And I actually, I couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it properly. I literally basically had to one arm it, and I was like, I can cut parts of it, I can't do it. And my dad was like, how many months? I'm like, it's been like a week. I, it hurts. And then I told my mom that, and then my dad learned, and he was like, oh, okay, fine. I'm like, I showed you I heard it. I can't use it correctly. Like, it's still not fully healed. If I put it in certain positions, it hurts. So I'm like, Dad, <laughs> I love you, Dad. But I can't f do physical work. I did end up doing physical work. And if it, the strain, if the pain or the strain got too much, I said, I'm done. Like, I would go. So I still helped. It was just, I shouldn't, I actually should not have been doing that. Honest to God, I honestly should not have been doing that. Because now, it's taking longer for this part of my body to heal. Like, it has been four weeks, it is not completely healed. I really need to stop agitating it. But it's to the point where I don't need a wrist guard. I still wear a wrist guard to work. So, yeah. And I had to deal with a, a rude manager today. Like, he, he was not trying to be rude. Like, I feel he was being rude. Like, that is given. That is a, He was being rude. But I'm pretty sure it was unintentional. It felt like it was. It felt like he was unintentionally being rude. He doesn't realize he's being rude. He was just rude. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Like over time, over the course of the shift I worked today, like, I was like, oh, okay, all right. Like, it's like the manager's like, oh, I was like, hey, uh, we need to refill this stuff, and the manager's, oh, it's over there. Like, he said it's there! He, like, he gave me the general directions, but I didn't know the layout of the place well. 
So I basically, I fumbled through it to find it. I found it, and thank goodness the other manager was there, and he was like, oh, okay, hey, good job, you found it. Well, thanks, because at least you came back here to make sure I get the right stuff. And then I asked the manager, hey, do you need this stuff right now? And he simply replied, it is over there. And I'm like, I didn't ask where it was. I said, do you need it? And so the other manager came to dissolve it before it got worse, because it was going to get worse. He was like, no, no, you can just put it there. I'm like, okay. So like, I dealt with a rude manager today. He's a cool guy, but he is rude. <laughs> so if that manager is watching this, hey man, I didn't say names, you're good. I think you're a cool guy. Work on your people skills. Cause what the fudge? Like I, I am new, I am new to that place. And the fact that you just said these things in a specific way was very rude. I was like, bro, I don't even know where this product is. Like, what do you, what do you expect me to do? Like, don't be rude. Like, I, I also, he didn't, like, there are time, there was like points in time where like, he's like, oh, you shouldn't do that. And that was it. He didn't tell me how I should do it. The other manager had to come in and physically show me how to do it. Cause there are things I don't know how to do. And this manager is like, oh, you should, you don't have to do that. I'm like, how else? I. It's clear I don't know. Teach me. You don't just say you shouldn't do that and just stand there and stare at me. At least teach me because I don't know. Like, that's the thing. That's what I don't like is when managers say, oh, you shouldn't do that. And then don't solve the problem. They don't help me help them, essentially. That's, that just bothers me. So, yeah. Today was not a good day for me. So, But it will be better because I will be playing Octopath Traveler 2 right after a little... Hollow, hollow Cure Save the Fan such. So I thought I'd just bear my general day today out here. Like, this morning wasn't that great. My shift at work wasn't that great. Uh, there were silver linings, but overall, today was below average. So, eh, just thought I'd open up to you guys. Thanks for listening. And if you guys didn't care, hey, whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to rant. Thanks for listening to my rant. Anyway, you're here for games, so we're going to play games. I can be loud because my parents are here as far as I know. They're away from the home. I'm the only one at the house right now. Yeah. Also, if the volume's too loud, please let me know. Because uh, yesterday I changed the volume settings for Overwatch 2. So if the volume is really loud, just let me know. I'm going to do a bit of a sound check real, real quick using Twitch. I am indeed live. Am I live? Oh, I am live. Hello? Ah, I see. Okay, cool. Alright. So it seems that that's fine. Also, I, I figured out some games have windowed mode, so I should really start prioritizing windowed mode. So that way, you know, I can see my stream chat on the screen as well as play the game. Because I, I don't mind it being windowed. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I don't think I changed the setting. Hold on. Oh, it's still on Overwatch. There we go. Hey, there we go, there we go. And... There we go. Oh, wait, no. It's a bit... And there we go. Alright. I should, I should lock this. There it is. It's locked. Alright. Alright, so, uh, two days ago, we were focusing on grinding for hollow coins. That is still the case today. So we're going to be grinding for hollow coins. Alright, of course I'm going to stick with Rainy because, uh, she, she gives the hollow coins. I think, let's see, I'm thinking this right, I'll be stage. Alright, I, I, oh, they're, okay. I I think yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with uh, Halloween Castle. Okay. Yeah. So oh yeah, Octopath Traveler made me upset this morning. So this morning, at like 1 a.m. in the morning, right? I was facing. I was doing Particios. 
uh, third chapter of the third chapter in Partitio's story, right? The merchant story. Um, what is it? Got an itch. Ooh. Three pea fowl feathers? No way! Credit card. <laughs> so, what is it? Oh, yeah. So, I got upset. Because the. Okay, so. I'll do you. So, what happened is. This morning, I was facing the of Chapter 3's boss for Partitio's story, right? And the boss has this mechanic where you can't hit it at all unless you take out this steam engine, okay? Just to put it in perspective, right? So there was a steam engine, I was knocking it out and stuff like that. And there came a point in time where the steam engine was repaired. Uh, so I was like, okay, I gotta focus on dealing with the steam engine. And the steam engine has this move called Swept Away. So what Swept Away does is Swept Away takes out uh, two. Oh. oh, I did not mean that. Oh, I didn't mean to get that. I meant to get that. I meant to get Lady of the Pea Fowl. That's what I meant to get. Oh, it's so stupid. Anyway, so yeah, there's a move that the Steam Engine knows called Swept Away, where it basically removes your party member from the battle for a set amount of turns. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. This is like late game. This is the late boss fight, right? And it takes about 30 minutes and an hour for me to deal with a boss fight in Octopath Traveler 2 because there's just so much involved with beating the boss and so many cool gimmicks and stuff. Um, in, in this case, Swept Away took out two of my characters, or two of my, uh, yeah, two of my characters. And I was like, okay, I'll eventually get them back. And then, in the same turn, it does Swept Away again. So Swept Away takes out two characters in your party, right? And there was only four characters in the party. So for all my team got wiped. Like, two of my team members were sent out, right? Two of my, member, two of my uh, uh, characters were sent out. And then, it does Swept Away again and takes out the remaining team members. So there is no party members on the stage. Like, no party members on the board. What does the game do? It automatically game overs me. It straight up games over. It, it literally goes to the game over screen. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, I had a double take. I spent, like, a good hour, like, facing the boss of Chapter 3 of Perticio's story, right? I was... I was dealing with... Oh, I got a scratch. Uh, I was literally dealing with a steam engine and the boss. And the steam engine just wipes my team easily. And I was like, what the heck? Because it's not like... It's not even a move that attacks, like, deals damage to the party member. It doesn't deal damage to the party. It removes the party member. Like, it's a gimmick. Like, there have been bosses on Octopath Traveler 2... Ooh, stolen pigment, yes. And then, yeah, one more. Uh, but there, there's a gimmick in Occupy Traveler 2 with some of the bosses where it has a mechanic that removes party members throughout the course of the boss fight, but it never takes out the entire party. However, this boss, particularly, actually takes out, can actually game over you by doing some stupid shenanigan called Swept Away and can do it twice in one turn to literally wipe your party. Like, it's a board wipe. And it's through the stupidest, like... It's through the stupidest gimmick ever. And I'm like, what the freak? It, it makes me so angry. It makes me so angry thinking about it. Like, I, j I was going to go to sleep at 1. Like, regardless if I won or lost that boss fight. But because of that stupid thing that occurred, I literally was like, you know what? No, no, I I'm gonna grind. So I grinded for another hour, because I was angry. And then I started the boss fight, and then I went to sleep. And then I woke up, went to work, uh, before I went to my friend's apartment to watch his apartment while he was away, and his kitten. Um, I lost to the boss again. This time, to a legit gimmick that, like, okay, that's a gimmick I can, I'm fine with. Um, so the gimmick was that if you deal the boss enough damage, he basically turns his steam engine into a full-on bomb. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know what, that's fair. Like, it's, 
three turns and then it explodes and deals massive damage to the party. And I'm like, okay, that's fair. I, I don't mind. Like, eh. It's a gimmick. I There are ways to work around it. Okay. And so uh, I failed to do the right thing against the gimmick and I simply died. And I'm like, okay, that is a game over I can accept. The one game over I cannot accept and will not accept was being having my entire party board wiped through a stupid skill and then just getting a game over. Like, I was expecting that when my party got board wiped, I was expecting like, oh, okay, maybe then, maybe like one party member will come back or something, like it'll trade off. No, it board wipes and then gives me a game over because there's no more party members on the board. And I'm like, that's so stupid. That was a legit stupid thing. I was doing just fine. Like, literally, all of my party members had full health, full magic. Like, they, they were... They were popping off. Like, they were... They were at full capacity. They had full latent potential. They had full... Uh, what was it? They had full SP. They had full health. Like, And I get swept away twice. What game? Oh, Octopath Traveler 2. I'm currently ranting about this the stupid thing that happened to me this morning at like 1 a.m. So, to reiterate, I essentially got a game over that was out of my control. And it makes me so angry thinking. So like, so basically, you know, it's a Japanese role-playing game, it's turn-based. Uh, there, so the boss has the steam engine, and the steam engine has the ability to remove two party members from the board, right? And it's for a set number of turns, so after like three turns they come back, right? Well, well, um, let's see, I'll do this. Well, what, uh, what happened was, in this case, the steam engine did swept away twice. So it took out the entire party, and my entire party had full health, SP, and latent potential. So I was fine in that department, but because there were no party members on the board, it turned into an automatic game over. So all of that progress, I spent a good hour grinding on that boss just for me to get a game over. It is so angering, Kaiju, so that's what it is. It was a Baldur's Gate. I never bought, I didn't buy Baldur's Gate, and I'm not gonna buy Baldur's Gate in for a hot minute, just letting you know. Also, there's a lot of food. Oh, that's right. I have Uber Sheep. I was not paying attention to that. But... Yeah, I was just ranting about the Kaicho. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Kaicho. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. I didn't text you the good news. Uh, I may have found a possible job position related to our field. Like, related to engineering. I probably, I probably found a remote engineering position. Baldur's Gate is all that matters? No, no. Octopath Traveler takes precedence. Because I like Octopath Traveler. I like Octopath Traveler more than uh, Baldur's Gate right now. Oh, but what's funny, Kaicho... Um, so, I was streaming... Well, yeah, yes, I was talking about Baldur's Gate. I think... Wait, no, you were there! Well, yeah, I haven't played Baldur's Gate. I don't really plan on playing Baldur's Gate right now. Ah! Oh, there's a lightning. Okay. I don't really play it, plan on playing Baldur's Gate right now, because I just have so much going on. Alright, well, I punched you five times. I did a five-time ton jack, and you're still alive. Alright, cool. Oh, there's an anvil, at least. I'm gonna just try and level up over here. I did not play Baldur's Gate. Ah, no! Okay. Um, there we go. I'm gonna have to play with my Hollow Coins. I want Hollow Coins. I need Super Shadow Time, or get Super Super Shadow Time. Because then I can get, like, it's 150%, like, Hollow Coin or whatever. Uh. Hey! Hollow Zone Box. Yay! Yeah, I was just ranting about how I got unfairly game over in Octopath Traveler 2. I don't know. I don't know if it's a bug that the developers didn't... It's not a bug, per se. Uh, let's see. I swear, if you say just get good, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ah, of course you do that. Ah, of course you do that. Oh, but no, no, yeah, no, Kaicho, just like some good news. Uh, Friday, Friday morning, I got an email saying, hey, um... We've, uh, we've selected you for a uh, remote engineering position. I'm like, what? Really? 
And I was like, oh, that's so cool! <laughs> um, and so they're like, we need some info. I sent the info, and then they're going to try and send me an offer letter soon. So I'm really excited for that. And the pay is really good, actually, surprisingly. And I did not expect that. So, I did my research, I did look into the company that sent that, like, I, I looked into it, like, I looked at the LinkedIn, uh, yeah, I looked at the LinkedIn, and I looked at the site, I did make a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake! Uh, so, it's data analyst slash design engineer, that's the position, it's remote. Uh, so, when they, when they sent me the email, they were like, oh, you, we've selected you, and I'm like, oh, yay, cool! So, they said they will, they are actually going to send, uh, according to them, they're like, okay, so you're going to be remote, and, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I was like, I kind of blanked. Uh, so, they'll give me the money to get the stuff to set up a workstation, and then we'll do training through Zoom, and then, yeah, I'll get into it. But, to answer, to, again, I think I answered it, but really haphazardly, they do a lot of data analysis and design work, from what I understand, because it is a design engineer position. I'm excited for that. So, I looked into it, too. Like, I, I did, like... Follow points. So, yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of the work that they do, but... For, when you go, go on the website, it's, uh, it's mainly just, like, information systems, but it's, like, I did, I did put down, like, they've seen my resume, they're like, oh, okay, so you'll be perfect for it, I'm like, okay, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really nice gig, I'm going to hopefully hear back from them next week. I'm going, I'm hoping. Yeah, probably. They probably are. I do need the speed. Pro probably a consulting firm. I don't know. But, hey, I'm not going to argue with the pay they're offering me, so... It's whatever. It's like, so, like, it literally says data analyst acquisition slash design engineer, so, I mean, hey. It's better than, <laughs> it's better than that other company that, uh, said, hey, guess what, you'll be paid a thousand a month if and only if the product is created, produced, and sold. And I'm like, what? That was a, I was actually uh, talking about that earlier. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I had, ah, uh, I'll take it. Oh, cool, half damage? Bro, Rain Ace the Goat, oh my gosh. And Uber, Uber Sheep, level five. Sounds like a scam. Oh. Uh, oh, maybe. Hmm. Oh, oh, the other company. Oh, okay, thank goodness. I was like, what do you mean? Okay, I see how it is. But yeah, no, I actually looked up the other company. It, it's, a, it's a startup company, I can tell you that much. Um, and so, all right, so to make, to reiterate, I don't know if I already said this story or not to you, Kaicho, specifically, but the company offered me an offer letter, like, huh? What was the first mistake? What? That was the first mistake, but, yeah, no, they offered me, so, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair. No, I mean, like, first off, like, oh, I got scratch, but I, there are startup companies that are okay, uh, and then there's startup companies that do not know logistics, and this startup company clearly did not know how to do logistics, because, because, uh, they... Like, literally, in the offer letter they offered me, which was funny, by the way. Like, the offer letter they offered me was like, Oh, you get to be part of the company. You should be happy. You should be grateful. And then the pay was literally $1,000 a month if and only if the product is created, produced, and sold. And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> and I had to, like, I reached out to them. And I asked them the question, like, first off, Am I understanding this right, that if it's $1,000 a month, then I'd be paid annually $12,000? Uh, 
Um, first off, make more than 1k. Exactly, right? Uh, and I, I, so I asked them, like, hey, are you guys serious? Are you guys... Uh... Are you guys... Uh, serious about the $12,000 a year? And if I do agree to do this, if I do agree to do this, will you provide me the means to do my job? So here's here's where it gets even funnier, Kai, uh, Kaicho. They. <laughs> oh, nice! I did it. Uh. Oh, yay! Three. Oh, yeah! I'm accepting all of these. Okay. So. And then yeah, and then swap, and then sell, and then. So I asked them the question, like, hey. Or will you be able to help me? And then here's how here's how they responded. Mind you, they are replying with the company's name, so I do not know who they are. And they were just like, "Oh yeah, it's you! Oh, we're so happy that we chose you. Uh, you just simply need to sign the offer letter, and we'll be golden." Um, and so I was like, "Oh, thank you for like you know saying I'm good and all, but..." Can you actually answer my questions? And then they answered my questions. They, <laughs> they, they basically said, um, for the, for giving me the means to do my job, they basically said, hey, um, what is it? Uh, hey, we will not be providing the means to do your job. We think this is a good challenge for you to overcome. So, they basically, it was a roundabout way of saying, hey, we're not going to help you. Good luck. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, I trapped myself. That was my bad. So, yeah, it was literally a roundabout way of saying, hey, guess, wow, that was good. Scam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, the thing is, is like, it's not a scam. I looked them up. It's, they are a legit startup company, but it was so obvious they didn't understand how things work. <clears throat> so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I said, okay, give me some time to think. Obviously, my answer was already given. Like, I was going to reject them, I just didn't want to be rude about it. <laughs> so, that was, that was the deal with that company. It was just... They were like, yeah, no, and then they then they said the pay was project based, and they're like, no, no, that thousand dollars. So they so after clarifying, after reiterating, like confirming what they meant to say, like what they actually meant, I was like, the next day I was like, sorry, I don't think I should, you know, apply. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Thanks for looking out for me. Thanks for considering me for the position, but I don't think I'll accept. I'm gonna move on. And that's what I did. And then, and then here's the funny part. After that happened, right? After that happened, I got an email from them. An email, like they sent it to me and like 12 other people. They, they are, they are legit bro. Uh, but their, their idea was to do like electric cars in like a certain area. And honestly, like the designs for it was really cool. It was a... Uh, it's basically for fuel efficiency and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. I like that idea. Um, it sounds really cool. Okay. Yay. Oh my gosh, all the whammy water. But they, they just don't understand. They don't have enough to keep the table. Like, there is no way. So they sent an email to me and like 12,000 others, well, like others. And then they were like, hey, like, there's, here's the reason uh, why you should work for our company. Like, they were trying to justify why, why uh, we should work for them. And essentially, what it came down to was like, would you rather, you know, would you rather focus on the temporary relief of feeding your stomach? Or would you rather make a difference in the world? And my answer was, I want to feed myself, man. It doesn't matter if I make a difference if I don't live to make a difference, you know? So, yeah, no, it's it, it's a legit company. And, uh, the... It is, it is legit ridiculous. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I actually did apply for them, to clarify. I applied for them. They were one of the companies I applied for. I applied for them, and then they replied. So, when I... So, I applied to them, and then they reached out to me saying, Oh, no need for an interview. We'll go ahead and send you the job offer. And then I saw that. Oh. Well, yeah. I was, I was happy at first. I, uh, no, I was happy at first. Like, oh, a job! Oh my gosh, I'm happy! And then I saw that in the offer letter, and I was like, oh! Oh, oh no. I, I discussed it with my mom. And I was like, and she was like, nah, that's a, that's a, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> and lo and behold, my mom was right. So... I'm so glad Uber Sheep is level 5, otherwise... And I have Nurse's Horn, which is level 3. I don't think I would have survived otherwise. Uh... Oh yeah, for sure. I told you, like, in that offer letter, they were literally taking advantage. So, like, the employee was going to be paid 1000 a month, the manager was 1200 a month, and then, like, another tier above that was going to be paid, like, 1600 a month. And that's only if... The product is for creative producer sold. So, it's one of those things where it's like, wow, that is a legit scam. You know, like, it's not, well, it's, it's something not worth doing. Uh, actually, I do need that. Uh, I'll swap and then I'll see. So, yeah, no, they, they are. But they ain't a scam. I, I, won't, I don't want, I don't see that as a scam, but it is equivalently as much a scam as anything. But, you know. Hey, they had like black and white. So like there was the offer letter and it was legit black and white. So I'm like, okay, it's not a, it's really a scam. Maybe, maybe my definition is way difficult. Like, people think it was a scam. I, don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm being like talking on my way. But either way, it was just... Garbage. <laughs> that job offer was garbage. But this job offer was actually like this, like with this actual job offer that I was offered yesterday. You know, it actually makes sense. Uh, because, you know, like they, they're willing to pay for the means for me to do my job at home. Uh, and. What would I get? And like, I actually had, in, I had interview questions, and they said, decide that you will go undergo training for this position, so. So it wasn't like straight up like, oh, guess what? Like, it, it wasn't like something from that other company. This, the co this company is actually like, oh, hey. Oh, oh, there is no way this is going to end well for me. I'm out of revives. Oh, I have idle costume level 5? No wonder why I'm able to bust out my special room quick. Alright, it's a good thing I hambug up. Yeah, that's uh, my little adventure with that whole, you know, Helio. That whole dealio job offer, so there's a there's a little light at the end of the tunnel, but I shouldn't get too soft. Oh whoop, I got sick by wall. Yeah, uh, oh, two angels. Okay. Oh, nurse's horn is maxed out at three, okay. Yeah, I really, <laughs> I just, uh, I need to just stay good, you know. I'm about to get my special again. Uh, yes, murder. Yes, please. Give me 20, 20 recovery. 
How did I, did I do it? Oh, I did, I did. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I did. Hey, I know song. Uh, burger. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know song. Fine. Wow, I am making bank, baby. I am legit making bank. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, burger. Try. Oh no. Burger! Ah! Okay. Alright, it's a good thing I kind of threaded that needle a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, okay. Right when the creature spawns, I get that. Nice. I'm gonna just punch you five times. Oh, I gotta move! On, I need to eliminate. I need to unlock the eliminate. Hey, I did good because I made 32,826 hollow coins. That is not bad. All right, we're gonna go to the shop. That was actually not bad. All right. Oh, I did. I did unlock that. Okay, let me just go to upgrades. Increase the chance of success during enhancements by 3% per level. I don't know. Crit 2%. Others? Uh, uh, I, I won't do that. It's insane. Why would I do that? Oh! Yes! I wanted that. I actually did want that. I'll do that. Uh, and then we'll stick with that. So I have 164 hollow coins. I don't feel like doing another run, so we're just gonna chill at the hollow house. Of course, I'm gonna be, be playing as, you know, Amelia Watson. Gonna collect your taxes. Right. No. Oh wait, there's a well read. Manager board, you read the notes written on the bulletin board. Here you can recruit volunteers looking for work. These workers will help you solely make money, just as long as you keep them well fed. First, you will have to pay an initial cost to send the worker your way. Then, as long as they have the stamina, they will continue working by themselves and generate hollow coins for you. Whether you are here or not. Workers are all different and each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Workers have the following stats. Stamina, how long a worker can uh, work before before they become exhausted. Efficiency, how many hollow coins they can gather at once. Experience rate, how quickly the worker can grow and improve. Max level, the limit a worker can grow to. As you feed your workers, not only do they recover the 
their stamina, but they will also gain experience. After gaining a certain amount of experience, a worker will level up increases their base stats such as stamina and efficiency. When your workers level up, you yourself will also learn to become a better manager by gaining manager levels. At a higher manager level, you'll be able to scout stronger and stronger workers. But space is limited, and you can only have up to 10 workers at a time. If the spaces become too small, unfortunately, some workers may have to go. You can select a worker and ask them to target if you need space for other workers. That hurt me on an emotional level. I will not explain why. <laughs> These workers will save you a lot of time and help you on your adventures, so be sure to raise a good team of workers. Alright, yeah, that's true. I have 164. I actually... Oh, I have 817 all the coins. Oh, no. Who's by you? Who's by you? Manage clownfish and wheat. Oh, okay. So I just needed wheat. Alright. Plant. Oh, I need soil. I'm gonna have to buy three. No, I can't. I'll buy two. Oof. No! Hush you. I'll do wheat. Focusing all on upgrades and such. Who is you? I need to talk to you. Nimu, good day to you. I'm Nimu, or Nimu. I'm looking after this farm for Fauna. Here, I don't know if I'm saying it right. If I'm not, I am so sorry. I'm a fake Hollow Life fan. Nimu, here, you can help raise crops to use however you'd like. As a representative of Mother Nature herself, we would be happy for you to help us grow all sorts of different plants. To get started, you can buy some special farming soils as well as seeds for me, then simply select one of the eight farming spots and then choose a combination of soil and seed. Of course, plants will take some time to grow, but don't worry. If you decide to go somewhere else, I'll look over the plants for you while you're gone. They'll continue to grow. Now, all plants love water as it helps them grow, so if you take time to water the plants, they will grow faster. Thanks to my special magic, the plants in this farm will never die, so you can rest easy. By the way, I have three different kinds of soils you can buy. Our standard soil has no special properties, but it's very cheap and affordable. Then we have our expedited soil, expedited soil, which speeds up plant growth by 40%. Finally, we have our enhanced soil, which is a powerful kind of soil that increases the yield of a harvest by up to three times the amount. Once the plants are ready, just feel free to and harvest them at any time, as the plants will go anywhere. Then, you're free to use the harvested crops whenever you'd like. I hope you'll enjoy the fun of farming and help Fauna with her work as Mother Nature. Ooh, I'm excited to see what kind of farm you'll create. Oh, whatever. Fake. Oh, whatever, Kaicho. Whatever. Oh, wait. Tuna! Oh, is that... What's the paintbrush girl? I forget her name already. Uh. Lofi, thank you. I was like, what was her name? I was going to say Eofi, I-O-F-I, instead of L-O-F-I. Oh, is it Eofi? Not L, is that an L? Is that an L? Yes? Is that an L, or is it an I? If you do, if you do capital I, I oh wait, no, it doesn't have the, the two crossbars on top. No. Is it an L? Yes or no? Is it an L? Okay, so it's an I. Alright, cool. It's an I. I have so much fish. I could be selling this for sand to get better rods. Ooh, tuna. Ah, 
buy you a shrimp. Speed level one? It's a thing? Look at that. Look at this chain. Bro, like, I am unbreakable. You cannot break this chain. Oh, yo, Sarah Espana, what's up? I don't know why I said your full name, but hey. But yeah, if I manage to get this engineering job, then I plan to go to Anaheim in December after my planned Japan trip for the Bushiro Championship Series in Cardfight Vanguard. So yeah, because, uh, uh, so there was a, lo there is a location for it in Texas. But the thing was is that they didn't release a Texas location until like recently. So it all me and the guys at the car truck were like, oh no, if they don't have one in Texas, we have to go to Cali or Chicago. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. So if I do if I do go on my trip, I will not be streaming for like two weeks. Man, I'm I'm unbreakable. Wheat has fully grown. It's in Chicago, Texas. Oh yeah, well, there is a Chicago, Texas, isn't it? That's funny. Man, I'm just, I'm just, this is fun. I kind of like just chilling. This is actually a nice little Animal Crossing, a Diet Animal Crossing. <laughs> I know it's Hollow Life, but I'm like, nah, it's Diet Animal Crossing. You can't, you cannot, do, do not, do not try. Or is it in Texas, Chicago? Is there a Texas, Chicago? I don't think there is. If there is, I'd be like, that's crazy. That'd be so crazy. All right, I feed you a lot of clownfish. Okay, and then I feed you Okay, and then I feed you. Nice. Alright, anyway, I wanted to feed them. I think I'm probably gonna... My chain is unbreakable. Okay, I'm curious what this is. What it... Um, um, umishu? What is um, what, what what is the D's nuts jokes for Omishu? Because I know you've been like putting that in the screen chat. I'm I'm curious. Give it a six out of ten, not bad, but not quite stored. Oh, omish like actual food. I thought it was another D's nuts jokes. I'm sorry, Kaicho. So you tried it? Six out of ten? Nice. It's just like you just cooking, practicing. Not, wait, not food. What is it? Oh, a drink? You were making drinks? Look at you, Kaicho. Getting prepared for next year? Yeah, liquor. Yeah, I kind of figured it was liquor. I was like, yeah, I... I eh. But, uh... Yeah, no, you... Whoa! Three exclamation marks. Ooh, I got a golden tuna. Not bad. Oh, for next year? Ah, nice! Are you, wait, can you, like, bring it to Japan? Plum wine? Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Ooh, gotta catch them all. That's funny. Catch a shiny fish. That's nice. I like that. I like that Steam achievement. Oh, it's just gonna stay here? Oh, uh, okay. But if I do get that engineering job, which I'm hoping, like, they aren't gonna, like, they're not gonna, you know, back out and they at me. Like, oh yeah, so, that's another thing. I was interviewed last week for an engineering position. I went, I went to the location, too. Uh, and I told them my salary expectations over the phone after that interview, and I'm pretty sure I scared them. Because last week they said I would go back again for an interview. Like, they gave me the tour of the place and everything. But, 
I never had an interview with them again this week. So I think they kind of ghosted me. Like, like they haven't called me or anything. Like I don't have any call history with them. Like I kind of just, I think they just ghosted me because I think I scared them about like what my uh, salary expectations were. So. But if I do get that engineering job, like, I will literally, to put it this way, I'll be able to go and not worry about expenses in Japan um, this at the end of the year, as well as being able to go again next year and go to Anaheim. Well, go? Wait, hold on. Ah! No. I just, I just scared them. I just... I just scared them, Kaichu. Did you did you make the type U? It's a G O H. How the heck did you get G O H? <laughs> and then F. Oh, I oh wow. Keyboard fumble, buddy. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just grinding up fishing <laughs> at the Hollow House. C G K G. What the freak? You're just spamming keyboard now. That's funny. How dare you spam? What the you doing, Kaiju? Yeah. I'm really banking on that. Because uh, right now, my current job isn't really paying much right now. But hey! There were some perks, but I don't think if I get that engineering job, I am not, I'm immediately, you know, putting, I'm immediately going to put in my two weeks at my current job, if I get this engineering job, hopefully next week. And I'm excited for them to provide the money to allow me to do what I need to do for my job, so. Oh no! I will not. Most likely. She is underage. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. What the heck? What do you mean? Hush you? I wouldn't even think of doing that. No. No. She's underage. Like, she's legit underage. Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, exactly. No, no. I'm not dealing with that. Some of them do not look 12. I'm just saying, Kaijo. Some of them do not look 12. I asked them their age, and I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. People, like, when at my at my job, people still, people were, like, shocked I was 26. They were like, what? You're old? Hush you, Kaicho, I wouldn't do that. Listen, do I have a white van? Okay, don't, don't answer that question. I just realized I have... <laughs> I have I have a vehicle similar to that and I'm like oh oh no that's setting me up that's setting me up if you've seen my TikTok or my Instagram reels or Instagram stories then you know you know you know I'm at chain 49 oh get 50 combos of the fishing minigame rhythm master baby I like how this rhythm ma this rhythm game isn't like too hard. It's very li it's very nice. Yeah, you know, you know. I actually don't have the van anymore. Oh, that's fast! Oh, oh, I broke the chain. I messed up. I messed up. The fish escaped. Okay, I, I lost the. <laughs> Not there were no children, Kaichu, but the van no longer is with us because uh, my dad retired. No, don't. We're not. How much? Let's check my inventory. Oh, I have 113 shrimp, one golden tuna, 53 tuna. Wow! Wow! I have a lot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell the gold tuna. Let's do 20 of these. I'll do... 52, 54. Oh, 
Kaicho. Like, there were no kids to begin with. I don't know where you're getting your weird fantasies from. But we do not accept those here. For legal <laughs> reasons, commit tax fraud. Nah, I won't do that. But after I end this stream, I shall attempt to try and beat for the boss for uh, Octopath Traveler 2 that I'm currently stuck at. Again, if not, I am going to have to grind. So the recommended level is level 35. All of my characters are level 40 or higher, and they still got, like, sweet at, like, this morning. I was like, oh no, I might have to grind another five levels. Eventually, I'll beat Baldur's Gate. But anyway, wait a minute. Can I buy the re can I buy the rods? Can I buy the rods? Ah, oh. the golden rod is one million sand. I think I'll save up for the golden rod. I'll save up for the golden rod. Why not? The saving game begins now. But yeah. That'll be it for the stream. Of course, while I'm preoccupied with Octopath Traveler 2, my streams are going to be short, so. Alright, anyway, I'm done with that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this stream. Uh, of course, I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to explain to YouTube, so. No, I will not. Perv. All right. So, have a good Saturday night, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. So, have a good night, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, hey, Leo, thanks for stopping by. All right, thanks for coming at the grid. What the fudge? I meant you thought you were going to say bet the spell broski, you jerk. Anyway, okay, I'm kidding. I like brownies. Brownies are delicious. I'm, I'm kidding you not. I'm thinking brownies right now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining the stream. It's now time for me to go play some Octopath Traveler 2 and also take a shower. 